I mean, if you want a classic Americana JFK style plan, this is very similar to what JFK had in place, minus the uh, estate tax. Imagine somebody dies with $20 million and you give $17 million of it to the government. Is that fair? Well, for anybody saying that Trump hasn't delivered, he thinks he has the votes in the House and Senate for this tax reform framework that he's put out. And it does stuff like doubling the tax write-off for married families with children. It does things like cut taxes on the middle class and poor working folks. It cuts uh, the corporate tax massively down to 20%, making it globally competitive. It gets rid of the estate tax. It gets rid of a bunch of loopholes that rich people and big corporations use to keep their money offshore and to avoid taxes. I mean, if you want a classic Americana JFK style plan, this is very similar to what JFK had in place, minus the uh, estate tax. Imagine somebody dies with $20 million and you give $17 million of it to the government. Is that fair? And it forces people that own businesses or uh, factories uh, to, to break them up. And that goes back to laws they had in some areas after the Civil War where they wanted to break up plantations. So they said, you can't give all the property to one son. You have to break it up and sell it off. And so it's a very, very communistic idea. I mean, I don't like the fact that you got the Walmart heirs, each one of them worth like $60 billion. And you add them all together, it's like $400 billion. It's just ridiculous. And it is asinine. And they use deals with China to bring in slave goods, but they've got big, giant American flags hanging up everywhere. So it's supposedly okay saying made in America. That's right. Uh, six Walmart heirs hold more than 42% of Americans combined. That's obscene because Walmart is a parasitic organization. But if you look at Walmart compared to Amazon, they're nothing. Amazon's anti-American, anti-gun, pro-globalist, at least Walmart's kind of neutral. It totally exploits China, worse than Walmart even does, and is even causing Walmart to fall apart. Because at least Walmart does hire a few people regionally. It's killed all the small towns, but it, it, it's, we're going from one cancer to something even worse. And that's why it's so essential that we don't just go to the big Facebooks and the Twitters and the Googles. They're like the Walmarts and the Amazons of news, that we go to the Infowars.coms and the Newswars.coms and the DrudgeReport.coms. But also, you need to start your own websites, your own platforms. Just report on stuff you about what's happening locally. Give your opinion. Shoot a video. People are interested in you. McBreen was showing me this yesterday. I meant to actually give it to the crew over here, but I forgot. He's over on the Slash TV side. And he was showing me uh, this uh, black Facebook channel, black guys that are just mainline. They're not liberal or conservative, but they just common sense. I was like watching it. I forget the channel name for like 30 minutes last night. I couldn't turn it off. Just, it was just really common sense. And their average video has like 2 million views. They have one video with 38 million views this week talking about the NFL. And you could put those guys on CNN and CNN would go from having a million viewers to 10 million within one week. But CNN won't do it because they don't control those guys. It's not that I'm even that good, folks. I've just been around longer than other folks. That's why it's so exciting just to see all these new people popping up that are just unbelievable. The problem is as soon as they get really big, Facebook starts shutting them down. But it's like whack-a-mole. You could shut down everybody. More folks are going to pop up. People are sick of establishment. They want straight up common sense that isn't conservative it isn't liberal it's just common sense americana working together being decent we'll be right back with the second hour in fact i'm going to find out the name of those that that, that, that channel 
what the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs out, you start dying. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com.